Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Hi, hello. Uh, Mr. Smith, uh, I'm a big supporter of energy. For, for me, uh, energy security is national security. And of course, you know, re renewables about that, but of course other things as well too, fossil. Uh, but also that also includes nuclear. Uh, of course, the nuclear is, is important. And now then there's that kind of energy transition. My focus is, is also that I wanna make sure that ratepayers uh, in Pennsylvania really aren't hit too hard for throughout all of this. Now the Washington Post reported that increasing electricity demand for the data centers is going to raise up residential power bills, perhaps as much by 20%. Now to me, that's really a concern for me and certainly for Pennsylvania families. Families. Uh, now the, the the data center, you know, has important jobs during construction and doing those things, and that's a great thing, uh, of course. But but they're not, I guess, mo long term. But the rate, those those rates might last longer for that. And now I've been very uh, tracking the plan to reopen TMI. I mean, I had. My own personal story is I had to grab my hamster and evacuate, you know, in that during the meltdown in 1979. You might consume, uh, you might assume that I was anti-nuclear, and that is not. It's a, I actually am very supportive of nuclear because that's an important part of the stack. If you really want to have uh, and address climate change, you can't turn your back on nuclear, in my opinion. But I know that's the, the power of uh, Microsoft's uh, data center. So now, and I really appreciate that, but if I'm saying now, if, if we're able to commit that the power purchase agreement, you know, it's not gonna raise electricity for Pennsylvania families and. No, I think you raise a critical point. We have two principles that we follow when we're constructing these data centers. Number one, we will invest to bring onto the grid in an amount of electricity that equals the amount of electricity that we will use so that we're not tapping a constricted supply. Number two, we will manage all of this in a way that ensures that our activity does not raise the price of electricity to the community. And so I was describing earlier how if there's improvements that need to be made to the grid, as there often are, we'll go to the utility commission, we will propose a change in the rate that we are charged so that we can pay for that improvement. I just think it's a fact of life because I think you highlight something critical. There's a lot of jobs when the construction takes place. There are jobs afterwards, but they are not as many. One will wear out the welcome quickly if we tax, in effect, the neighborhood by asking everyone to pay more for their electricity because we have arrived. We get it. We know we have to be a good and responsible member of the neighborhood. Thank you. Well, and now, um, you know, one of the perks of being a senator is that for me, anyway, I get an opportunity to, to meet people that have led, um, much more impressive kinds of jobs or, or careers that I've led. And now, Mr. Altman, now this is going to, I'm going to count this as an, a highlight uh, recently. Like, um, I know the, the work that you've done, you know, you're really one of the people that are moving AI. And, and now it's, it's, it's an opportunity. I, I, I was excited to, to meet you. And now people, you know, people ask me, it's like if you're going to talk about AI, and now I get to ask you, I mean, you know, like the literal, the expert, you know, um, some people are worried about AI or whatever, and I'm like, you know, what about the, the singularity? So, if, you know, the people like that, if you would address that, please. Thank you, Senator, for the kind words and for normalizing hoodies and more spaces. I love to see that. Um, I am... I am incredibly excited about the rate of progress, but I also am cautious and uh, I would say like, I don't know, I feel small next to it or something. I think this is beyond something that we all fully yet understand where it's going to go. Uh, this is, this is I, I believe, uh, among the biggest, maybe it'll turn out to be the biggest technological revolutions humanity will have ever produced. And I, I feel privileged to be here. Uh, I feel curious and interested in what's gonna happen. Um, but I do think things are gonna change quite substantially. I, I think humans have an, a wonderful ability to adapt and things that seem amazing will become the new normal very quickly. Uh, we will figure out how to use these tools to just do things we could never do before. And I think it will be quite extraordinary. But these are going to be 
tools that are capable of things that we can't quite wrap our heads around. And some people call that, you, you know, as these tools start helping us to create next future iterations, some people call that singularity, some people call that the takeoff, whatever it is, it feels like a sort of new era of human history. And I think it's tremendously exciting that we get to live through that and we can make it a wonderful thing, but we've got to approach it with humility and some caution. No, I mean, uh, I, I just, it, for me, it's, it's been, uh, I get a chance to, to, to ask questions to a, 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 a lot of Edisons, you know, as well, too. Like, the kinds of things that you're all collectively involved um, are going to transform our society, and people will look back 50, 60 years ago and see what's happened. So, for me, uh, over to the chairman. Thank you. Thank you.